I will be showing you how to solve a back titration question using stoichiometry. Just take a few minutes to read the question and fully understand it. After reading the question, you should have understood that the aim of the whole problem is to figure out the percentage of calcium carbonate in the eggshell. If you still did not figure out the aim of the question, just reread it. The first step in solving this question would be to identify the two um, chemical reactions taking place in the problem. The first chemical reaction is where the calcium carbonate is uh, reacted with hydrochloric acid. And in the second reaction, the remaining hydrochloric acid that did not react in um, the first reaction is used to react um, sodium hydroxide. Okay, so let's identify what information was provided from the question. The first main thing that is provided is that the eggshell's mass is 0 0.9 grams. And the second thing that is provided is that the total amount of, amount of HCl in this reaction uh, pro provided to react is 25 ml of a 1.0 mole per dm cube concentration and after converting 25 ml to dm cube which is basically 0 0.025 dm cube you would get the total amount of HCl as 0 0.025 moles. Our next aim is to figure out how much of the HCl reacted in the first reaction. And in order to find that out, we will need to do some backward calculations and first figure out how much of the hydrochloric acid did not react in the first equation. So in order to do that, we will need to take a 25 ml sample of the total 250 ml solution and titrate that with um, sodium hydroxide. So after titrating that, the question itself give, give the question itself gives us that the titrated value of uh, sodium hydroxide is uh, 9.32 moles, and it is also given that the sodium hydroxide has a concentration of 0.1 mole per dm cube. Therefore, by multiplying the volume into concentration, you get the amount of um, sodium hydroxide. It, which was reacted in this re, um, equation, which is 0 0.000932 moles. And also from this chemical reaction, we see that HCl and NaOH are in a ratio of 1 is to 1. Therefore, the total num amount of HCl that was reacted in the 25 ml sample should equal the amount of um, sodium hydroxide reacted. So. 0.000932 moles of HCl was present in 25 ml in the 25 ml sample. Now, in order to calculate the total amount of HCl in excess from the first reaction, we have to multiply 0.000932 moles into 10 in order to find how many moles of HCl is present in 250 ml which will give us the value 0 0.00932 moles. And then coming to step three. Now we use the um, formula total HCl in reaction one minus excess HCl, which was calculated from reaction two, gives us the used amount of HCl in the first reaction. So from the first reaction, we figured out that 0 0.025 moles of um, HCl was added. And from the second reaction, we calculate that 0 0.00932 moles of HCl was in excess in the 250 ml um, solution. And after subtracting this value by this value, we get the um, used HCl in equation one as 0 0.0156 um, moles. And from the first equation, we see that CaCO3, um, the ratio of CaCO3 to HCl is 1 is to 2. 
Therefore, for every two um, moles of HCl, one mole of CaCO3 is reactive. Now that we have figured out 0 0.01568 moles of HCl was reacted in the first uh, reaction, we divide this value by 2 in order to find the amount of moles in the, um, in the eggshell. So after figuring out the amount of moles, which is 0 0.01568 moles, uh, we multiply it by the molar mass of CaCO3 in order to find the mass of the CaCO3. After doing that, we should have gotten the value 0 0.78 grams. And now to calculate the percentage of CaCO3 present in the eggshell, we take the uh, mass of CaCO3 over the total mass of the eggshell into 100, which will give us 86.6%. And this value can be rounded off to 87%. So there we have it. Um, this is how we calculate um, back titration questions using stoichiometry.